uh, Barakat says, what is the concept of halal marriages in Islam? People say that if a couple is divorced, then the woman can get married to another man with the condition that he would divorce her after a few days so that she can get married, uh, she can get married to him or to her first husband again. This is a long story, and I'm, I'm going to make it as short as possible. A man has the right to divorce his wife three divorces. Life differs from one house to the other. And there are problems and there are uh, 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 tribulations. And sometimes we need to divorce, either for the goodness of the husband or the wife or for both of them. But, but also we may reconcile. So Islam gives you three strikes. Strike one, you're divorced. Either she goes after her idda period is over, which is three monthly cycles, generally speaking. Now she's free. She can marry someone else or not. After a year or two, I feel like patching up. I call her or call her father and I propose. He agrees. She agrees. We get married again. A few years later, something happens. I divorce her. Strike two. Now, if we reconcile, I have only a third divorce left. And if I divorce her for the third time, this is strike three. Our marriage is over. And she is immediately haram for me to even watch or see. So she immediately leaves home. She goes to her parents' house. And we're total strangers. I tried to patch things up. I call. Can I, we get married? said, nope. Third strike. So what to do? The pro Allah tells us in the Quran, if this takes place, she is not lawful for me until she marries another man. And then after marrying him, if he divorces her, I can marry her again. This is known as halala, halala, from the word halal, to make her permissible for me. The sunnah brought us the details of this verse in the Quran. So the marriage has to be a real marriage, not with the intention to divorce the second husband in order to go to the first husband. So a real marriage, meaning that she totally forget, forgot about me. I forgot about her. A man comes, proposes, marries her. And it is a must that they have, uh, uh, they consummate the marriage. So intercourse is a must. So they get married. They stay together for a week, a year, five years, ten years. And they live like a man and a wife without any intention of making her halal to come back to me. After some time, they get divorced. Only then I can have a new marriage contract and marry her. So what Barakat is mentioning, that I divorced my wife three times. She is totally prohibited for me now. So she brings a man from the neighborhood. Listen, would you, have like, would, would, would you like to have fun for three days? And we'll pay you like uh, 20,000 rupees. Yeah, who, why not? So he does this and he goes, marries her, sleeps with her. And after three nights or two nights or one night, I divorce you. Then I, get, I marry her after she finishes her idda. This is an invalid marriage. And the Prophet, Alayhi described this new husband as being a borrowed male goat that is used for breeding. So as if I, this man did not marry her for real, he married her only to make her halal for me. So he's a, a, a borrowed goat and it's an invalid marriage and it's totally prohibited and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.